Hello guys, it is Unders today. A really quick tutorial on how to bring audio from your iOS devices, so iPhone and iPad, into Logic. So as you see, we've got the lovely figure here on the screen, which is from the guys that make Reason uh, Propeller Head. It is a nice cheap app. I'll link that in the description as well. Good for making some fun sounds. Now there's a way to get that audio to record directly into Logic and we're going to fly over that real quick. Easiest thing for you to do, if you go into Spotlight on your Mac, you want to then access the audio settings. So if we just type out audio, we're going to get audio MIDI set up and we want to open that. Now you see here I've got an iOS device browser that's popped straight up. This might not happen for you, okay? so. Firstly, make sure your device is connected via the lightning cable. We're then going to go into Window and we're going to do Show iOS Device Browser. Okay, when we do that, it's going to pop up with this. We want to enable it. And once enabled, We'll then be able to use it within Logic. Logic should give you a pop-up unless you've told it to disable, and we're gonna say use. Now if we then get ourselves inside Logic, I've already got this set up as a figure here. As you see, it says here how it is set up. Now if you don't automatically get that pop-up, you'll have to choose it from the input browser here. If we put record and input monitoring on, we can now hear the figure is going straight into logic. And if we hit record, we're now free to mess around till our heart's content with the audio from our iOS apps. And hey, why not? Since we're here, we're going to cut that. We're going to make you rhythmic slicing. And we're going to see if we can quantize you into something useful. What do we reckon? Probably not. <laughs> well, guys, that's nice and easy. Now you can get any audio you want from your iOS devices straight into Logic. Hope that was helpful. Catch you on the next one. Bye.